Medical school is four times harder than PA school. Ah, you fell for the clickbait. Okay, I mean, I guess I don't know because I've never been to medical school, but I'm just assuming based on time and training. The reason I'm saying this is this question here. Uh, I'm applying to PA school, physician assistant school. I'm assuming it is not as in-depth due to being created for people who have previous healthcare experience, plus being required to work under a doctor. Is that correct? Uh, yes and no. So the first thing, this is kind of just a pedantic little detail, but no, medical schools do not require you to have healthcare hours prior to applying, just like PA. However, in my experience, talking to lots and lots of medical school applicants, medical students, you know, new doctors, a lot of them did work in the healthcare field in some capacity, similar to pre-PA students uh, prior to school. So that whole difference isn't really a difference anymore. To be more competitive, just to learn more about medicine, a lot of people applying to med school, they work as surgical techs, medical assistants, scribes, the whole nine yards, just like PA school students do. So that's not really a difference. Uh, having to work under a doctor, yes and no. Uh, I mean, on paper, yes but a lot of PA roles, such as mine in the urgent care, I'm the sole provider, I'm the only one there, I'm making all the decisions, unless there's something I really, really don't know, then yes, I can phone a physician and I can talk to them, but most decisions, 90 plus percent of the decisions, I'm making on my own. So practically, you're not always going to be under a doctor. Uh, on paper, yes, in most situations, no. You know, you're practicing pretty independently. So that's not exactly it. The reason there is so much less training is because it's a different profession. It's just designed differently. The training is different. A lot of times the jobs are pretty comparable, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's that, you know, that little bit that all that extra training is really necessary for. That's one. Two, in surgical roles and more specialized roles, yeah, you got to be an MD or a DO to even have those roles, like being a legitimate surgeon, practicing legitimate surgery, not just little in-house procedures or being first assist, like a PA can do. If you want to be an actual surgeon, you got to be a physician. All right, so there are some major differences, especially in certain areas of medicine. Uh, also, the video is called Medical school is four times harder than PA school because it's literally four times longer. The content, because of all that time, because of all the expectations, plus residency, it just is harder. Is there any way to quantify that? Oh no, it's actually three and a half times harder. Okay, I don't know, but it's definitely a lot harder. The way I got that number, however, the four times harder thing is PA school is approximately two years. Some programs are up to three years, two and a half years. My program was 24 months on the dot, two years. Okay, so let's go by the shortest program. The shortest medical school is four years. It's always four years unless it's some sort of a bridge program, which might cut off a year, but those are very rare, usually four years, right? So the initial training already two times as long as PA school. Then you got residency, the shortest of which is emergency medicine, internal medicine, family practice, uh, family medicine. I believe those are three years. And then surgical specialties go way longer, sometimes four, five, neurosurgery is like seven, plus you got fellowship. So I'm gonna say the average, probably even below average time for training a physician after undergrad is eight years. Four years of medical school, four years of residency. And that's probably, like I said, on the shorter end. So already the average training is about four, sorry, is about eight years, whereas our average training is about two years. So already four times as much training. Plus, if you've heard of residency, if you've heard the working conditions, the hours they spend in residency, it's freaking brutal. They work like so many hours. I think on paper, they have to clock in like 80 hours as a max, but anybody who's been through residency, at least the people that talk to me are all like, yeah, no, we, we do way more than that. Especially if you want to excel, you got to come in early. You got to stay late. You got to volunteer for stuff that you, you know, you don't really have time for, but you just do it. Right. So unless you go through some crazy, crazy training period, some really intense fellowship as a PA, you're not coming anywhere close to that. And even so, even if you are, PA fellowships are one year. I've never seen one that's longer than one year. Somebody can probably correct me in the comments, but either way, going with the bulk of PAs versus the bulk of MDs, the bulk of MDs on average train at least four times as long as we do as PAs, and their training is more intense, especially when it comes to residency. So just by those rough numbers, I'm gonna say, Medical school, training a physician is four times harder than training a physician assistant.